Oh, yeah. Cheers and salutations. Welcome, everybody, to Chicago Reacts. And today, we're about to go in full slow motion. Massive. That's what she said. One inch wide bullet at 200,000 FPS slow mo, guys, with the Kentucky Ballistics. Folks, it's so massive, it's slapping you in the face. But if you want to be a hip, cool cat, you are going to, number one, support the original content creator. That link is in the description box below. Number two, grab yourself a tasty snack and a tasty beverage. And number three, hey, be a hip, cool cat and like, comment, share, and subscribe because we love all you hip, cool cats. And without all of you lovely, beautiful people, we would not be here. So without further ado, since I am in charge of the ones and the twos, let's get ready to enjoy this video in a three, a two. And in Uno. Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys, back again in Kentucky with Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. You may yep. remember some rather successful videos we did. So since we left, I've got a lot of comments letting me know that you now have a four bore, yep. a 950 JDJ, and a punt gun. Yes. So we'll do a short series of videos where we explore all three of those. You've got a lot to explore. <laughs> okay. So we'll start with the four bore. All right. What was the the biggest kick you got last time you were firing all the guns? Was it the 57? The I think it was the 577 T-Rex. Oh! Yeah, the Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, it was the it. hardest kicking one that I had, uh, but we have really stepped it up now. Yeah. I think the four bore is going to open your eyes, but the 950 is going to be life changing for you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm even more excited than I was on the way here. Can't wait to change my life. <laughs> All right, All right Dan, so this is about as close as we can get to what we usually shoot. Well, this is pretty much exactly what we shoot, yeah. isn't it? 30 or six, right? That's what we consider, they're like, let's get the big one out. Yeah. <laughs> and Scott's like, well, I've got this pea shooter. <laughs> now, really, this is just going to be a practice for me uh, for the four ball. So I'm kind of just going to like act as if I'm shooting. Okay, well, if he could shoot the four bore, I hope someday I can shoot the four. You know what? I probably might be blown out of the state. So, you know what? I'm not going to talk shite. Shooting that. Even still, though, it's, it's a real crack, that one, isn't it? Uh, Scott called this round, in reality, he said it was stout. Didn't you? Yeah, it's a stout round. It's a stout round. Okay. I mean, it's got, it's got a good kick to it. Kicking you pretty good. You know, I had my eye open, fired. Reacted, eye back open. It's hard well not there. to blink. Yeah. The, the quiff got a bit of a wiggle, but that's about it, really. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, wow. We were not that. Oh. Cool. Yeah. It's a lovely shot wave coming off that, too. It's, it's so cool to see the bullet. Yo. Look at that. Yo. Oh my God. God darn it. Shockwave coming off that too. It's, it's so cool to see the bullet move ahead of the shockwave. Yeah. And that's not a small small round either, really. No, it's not. 30 out 6 is, I mean, it's, it's a hard hitting round. Yeah. This is actually a very unique rifle. Uh, this is a Christian Firearms falling block, single shot four bore. As you can see here, it has a one inch diameter. <laughs> uh, and the reason they call it a four bore is that's how they used to measure how heavy projectiles were. A four bore, four rounds equal a pound. Eight bore, eight rounds equal a pound. Okay. This is uh, 2,150 grains. It is massive. Okay. So this would have been used to take down like an elephant, mm -hmm. yes, or something, of, or uh, a blue whale. Yeah, basically, you know. <laughs> no, don't shoot the blue whales. Okay, leave them alone. Okay. Anything. Yeah. yeah. So Scott, what are you more excited to see? What it does to Dan, or what it looks like in extreme slow motion? I'm excited to see this in extreme slow motion for okay. sure, I, because it's just it's such a big ridiculous. Please, Scott, be at least standing behind him and hold him so he doesn't fly out of state. This round. So you yeah. don't need me to fire it then? Well, I do need you to fire it at least once. Oh, okay. Yeah, just one time. All right, all right. <laughs> and you're going to be absorbing uh, upwards of 200 pounds of felt recoil. Um, <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> it's over 20 pounds. So I'm pretty much just going to have to aim this 
get okay. into position. Get oh. position pretty quick and, and then shoot. Yeah, it's bang. Oh, setting up for slow mo shots uh, is very painful because I mean, it's like, well, just hold a little longer. I got to <laughs> adjust the brightness. And yeah, that looks good. Like I said, you you want to be able to let that thing rock you backwards. So it's like uh, when you have a recoil compensator on a cannon on a ship or something, you know, yes. where they where it rolls back a little bit. Yes. Rather than just it firing and just staying right. still. Like I said earlier, it'll eat your lunch <laughs> every time. And then bog wash you afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're gripping real hard. On here, yeah. It, this your hand's gonna want to come off of this part. Okay. Just just hang on to it. That's all I'm saying. Hang on. Hang just on hang on for the right. Hang, hang yep. on for the so right. So what we should do then maybe is when the sun's out, get in position ready to fire, and I'll just do a very final How check quick? on focus, probably within <laughs> like two seconds. Okay, just give me a good. Okay. Down. That's <laughs> obscene. <laughs> All right, you're ready. All right, ho oh, ho. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, that's our boy. He did it. Like two <laughs> seconds. Okay, just give me a good. Okay. Down. Okay. <laughs> that's obscene. <laughs> All right, you're ready to rock and roll. Good. Yes. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? My spine just went. <laughs> oh. Your face. <laughs> you know what? I, I. You know what? I'd probably make the same face too. That went off. Was. Man, Priceless. usually I'm like, right, yeah, fire, and then I blink after, like, reacting to it. I feel like I was like this. Bang! <laughs> Here you go. Oh, sniff. oh, wow. You know, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. Yeah. It's not. Really? It's not as I'm bad surprised. as I expected it to be. It's over pretty quick, and yeah. it's not, yeah. Like I said, it was going to, to move you, but it's not something that's so bad. Yeah. That like, you know, it's going to detach your retina or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I will tell you the 950 is going to be as bad as you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, great. Let's, oh boy. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Look at oh. that mushroom cloud coming out of it. Holy cow. That is a fat shock wave too. There's the bullet and just like. It's like a white curly flame. Look at all the vortices. Oh, yeah. and you can see all the wire separated. still with it? Yeah, it's like separating it in the separate. end. Yeah. This wadding is small foam discs to take up excess space in the case to ensure more complete burn of the powder inside. So the wad comes out at the speed of the bullet for quite a while. Holy yeah. cow. Slowly starting to separate. Look at the colors in that flame. That's quite, that looks really cool. It looks ghostly. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like a torpedo coming out of there. <laughs> I didn't realize the wadding is staying with the bullet that long. Yo, I never knew that either. Holy cow, that's incredible. Bullets shading the wadding from air resistance. It just looks like a really long bullet. It looks like, it looks like, bullet. Yeah. It looks like the cartridge case has come out as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's not even moving yet. No, no. I, I've seen I've moved about, I don't know, maybe half a centimeter. A quarter oh. of an inch. And you're definitely <laughs> and then, move. That's why I framed you like so much of the frame is that then you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Did I jump back? <laughs> yeah, you went back. At least oh, I did. I chance. did. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it was over. Oh, he did great. Thumbs up in the chat. But so quickly it was like bang, and then I was like, okay, <laughs> come on. Oh, it tugged you out of your goggles. And look how quickly my shoulder moves. Yeah. God. It knocked you out of focus. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, it's a, uh, a 2,150 grade bullet moving at like 1,400, 1,500 feet per second. So much slower than the 30-06, which is smaller, but so you're taking a 150 grain round and you're moving it at over 2,000 feet per sure. second. You're yeah. getting about 4,000 foot-pounds of energy. That big bullet moving at 1,400, 1,500 feet per second, much slower, over 10,000 foot-pounds of energy. So slower in velocity, but way more energy. Yeah, two different schools of thought. Wow. So you fancy firing at some targets? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you gonna volunteer as tribute. You're always our resident yeah. <laughs> resident gel shooter once Dan's done with the first one. So our first target is some lovely ballistics gel. Single Where is the T-Rex skull? I demand it. For slow-mo guys. Single block. And I wonder if we'll have a problem going through that. Not at all. And I and I wonder if we'll see that flash that we saw last time. I'll be curious too. I wonder if speed plays a part in that. Hmm. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Being squatted down like that, there's not much room for you to move. Oh, so you couldn't do the rocking back. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the table destroyed from just the sheer force of that block being moved down. And then I'm wondering oh. if it pushed it down and then scooted across, because if you grab that block, Ooh. that's a straight line. That is straight, So it doesn't it? look like it deflected. So I almost wonder if it pushed the block down and then when it exited the block, Wow, that is a pretty neat channel though, isn't it? It is perfectly neat. I was surprised. Did we get the Kentucky effect again? Let's find out. 2.0. Oh, the, the wad's wad's still yeah. Yeah. No, no Kentucky effect. Aww. All of it's going. Wadding. The wadding went through it with it. Oh. It created such a wound channel that it was able to just fly behind it. I don't think a single piece of the wadding stayed inside. I think all of it went through. That's, I would have never guessed that. No. I figured it would have bounced off the block. <laughs> as far as the I am speechless, that is incredible. It stuck together. Like all friends should. The wadding no nose, that's, it's just passing through air. It doesn't even have any idea that it's in gel. It, it, does the wadding all like stack back up again on the back of the bullet? Because it's, it's all hitting again. Down. Yeah, it's all like reforming. It's like a, when, when somebody stops in a cartoon and they all like go boom, 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 boom behind <laughs> it. Yeah. And it's just, the bullet's long gone. That gel's under the table. It's gone through the table. Oh yeah. Yeah, no wonder the table cracked. It just has to get out the way of the bullet. So it's just gonna go through the table. Yeah. It's like liquid. <laughs> And then it just goes into liquid mode. Yeah, just flinging bits off. <laughs> that's crazy. I think I'm most surprised at the wad. Yeah. That is bonkers to me. So that's, yeah. that must be happening every time you fire. Well, if I'm further away, the wadding, I'll, sometimes I'll see it like trailing behind. Like, yeah, I think as soon as it gets far enough away from the bullet where air can get back in, it will like- it breaks up. Yeah, it'll like sub out. We're getting, so when we shoot our next target, we shouldn't see any wadding. It should just be a big fat bullet just smacking. Well, the, the wadding caught up with the bullet because of the gel as well. Yeah. So that won't happen with the, the next target because yeah. it will have accelerated away, won't yeah. it? Yeah. And we'll be further away. Yeah. So what so, do you want to shoot next? I really want to see a quarter pound of lead hit steel. Um, should we go maybe 200,000 frames a second for that oh, one? Yes, I think so. All right, I'm set to 200,000 frames a second. Yeah. Thought it would be a good idea to get the uh, 30 or six down there again as a comparison before we send the four bore round down there. Yeah, like a regular baseline sort of. Yeah. What, what it should look like. Normal and yeah. then ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, that's beautiful. We're rewinding that again. We're rewinding that again. We we rewind that again, 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 again. I mean, four bore aside, it still smacks that steel really hard. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a proper satisfying ting. Yeah. How accurate can you be with this? Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. I would say any of the E's would be a great hit, place to hit. <laughs> the E's? Yeah, anywhere in that region. I think I can do it. Uh, I was speaking to Scott and he was saying that the 30 or six, that this round is gonna be like 14 of those in one. <laughs> Ready? Ready? <sighs> oh! 
Oh! Oh, wow! That never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> it lifted that target off the ground. <laughs> oh, As my. a comparison, my one was just like a pating. I'm really curious to where I hit. Oh, no yeah, way. Got about where you want it. Real close. You did it. You nailed it. Look at that. Perfect. That is perfect. Oh, that's going to look great. Let's go. Oh, look, there's the wadding. It, it, it seems to be rifling quite slowly. Yeah, it has a slow twist. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, it's, it's basically a ball. Peaceful. Here it comes. The shadow will come in. There we go. Oh, wow. Whoa! Wow. The amount oh, that is beautiful. YouTube rewind time. YouTube rewind time. Look at that. Look at that thing go. The shadow will come in. There we go. Oh, wow. Like the asteroid hitting the earth to kill off the dinosaurs. The amount, what's this? Is this all smoke? Oh, like, what, is that it's just lit. all, it's just turning into powder. Just powdering the lead? Yeah. It's got that much force, it's just powdering it. <laughs> Look at that frame. It's either setting it on fire or and powdering it. what's crazy is that's over a quarter pound of lead. That's 39 223 bullets. All hitting the target at one time and they're all hitting the same. <laughs> hey, it's the wadding. Yeah. Wow. That would be really interesting to see 39 bullets coming in and converging. <laughs> that that, is that so looks cool. like a meteor hitting the earth. It does. Doesn't it? Hey! I called it. Doesn't yeah. it? Ooh. Looks like a firework, but like an inverse firework. You should get a steel target that looks like the earth. I'm just so mm. pleased right now that uh I was able to get that in the center of your frame. Yeah. It was exactly where I wanted it. I was like, don't flinch, don't flinch. Like, could that be more central? In any of the frame? No, <laughs> pretty good. I can't believe how much it vaporized. That's wild. Like, yeah, you would think it would have chunks. Yeah. And I think it's really cool to see how slow it's turning mm. because with those rifles, the rifling has to be slower because if it is a faster twist, it'll rip, the gun will rip out of your hand. Sure. Because if you sure. watch in the slow-mo, you'll still, you'll see the gun torque even a little bit now. Really? So the, the bullet like rifles the gun reverse. It, it will twist. <laughs> I'm so proud of this guy right here. Oh man, I, I envy you my friend, but not out of jealousy, but out of hope that someday I could shoot the four ball. Watch out, watch I do that and I get blown across the country. Twist the gun out of your hands if the rifle is too fast. That is crazy. Yeah, I didn't know I've that. Heard, I've heard of it breaking people's collarbones. So that's really cool to see it just slowly turning. Yeah. So how do you feel? Well, I would say with the Tyrannosaur last time, I shot, you know, and it, you're more likely to get like a flesh injury. Like it might, might bruise you a little bit, feel right. a bit sore there. With the four bore, it's kind of deeper than that. Yeah. It's more feel like. like... <laughs> All right, buddy. Hey, you know, at least you're honest. Behind you. It's, it's more like, <laughs> your entire sort of bones get moved rather yeah. than just squeezing flesh. Like I don't feel sore here at right. all. I bet it's... it was like a Newton's cradle, like it hit you and then your shoulder blade like popped out <laughs> the back a little bit. Cause, yeah. Cause last time your nipple so almost came around the back. I think this one was your shoulder blade just coming through. Oh yeah. Your back turned into the hat from Harry yeah, Potter. The sorting hat. The, yeah, I should have taken the top off again <laughs> looking back, but I didn't think it was that bad. Like it was okay. You know, I, my neck felt a bit funny afterwards cause I was like flip. Right. And I can't believe how much it twisted yes. with the rifling. Right. That was amazing, actually, to yeah. see. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, well done. Thank you. Well join, done. Join, it well. <laughs> join us next time when we'll be stepping that up significantly. Make sure you subscribe to Kentucky <laughs> Ballistics and subscribe to us too, if you want. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> uh, okay, shout out to uh, the slow-mo guys. They actually did something really awesome here. Um, and I got to say, I'm really impressed, man. That was some great stuff. Great, A great video. He held his own. He uh, really did a great job in, in regards towards uh, handling the four ball. I, I, I am impressed. That was great. And I never knew about the wadding. I had no idea about the paper uh, in there. I mean, that was just incredible stuff. Um, 
at looking forward to someday to see a T Rex, um, ballistic gel. You know, target a T Rex skull, and maybe Kentucky ballistics and slow mo guys fire a tyrannosaur, a four bore, and the other big guns against it. We we shall see what happens. We shall see what happens someday, just not today. Jeanette from accounting from ballistic gel. Quit complaining and make a T-Rex skull. Find the money. Make it now. Um, please support the original content creator. Support the slow-mo guys. Support Kentucky Ballistics. They do great stuff. Hope all of you are having a safe October and have a very spooky and safe all Hallows Eve. Much love to you guys. And that was impressive.